I'd like to start by thanking Nick Potter and his team, particularly Charlie Ewans, for bringing this concert to life, for taking all the individual recordings and making them into this uh, beautiful program that we've got for you this evening. There are um, got pieces by second year composers, the piano and then postgraduates have written pieces for uh, mainly not piano um, and they've done this as part of their course but also in collaboration with the musicians. Um, the MA uh, performers have done this as an extracurricular activity and they've really uh, given it huge commitment taking the trouble to learn the pieces and to record them in their own spaces so it's with incredible gratitude that uh, we we watched this evening um, and particularly to my colleague Sarah Watts who's being the cheerleader behind this for the performers. And finally, thank you to you, the audience, for listening. And I hope that wherever you are, you will be able to give both the performers and the, the composers uh, lots of applause and cheers um, and that you enjoy the programme.
Hello, my name is Gustavo Ribeiro and I composed a piece called The Silver Fish for Piano Solo. Uh, with this piece I was trying to represent uh, perpetual movement and water-like fluidity. I was also very um, influenced by the Impressionism period that took place in the beginning of the 20th century with composers like Debussy and Ravel. Uh, this piece is in the key of C with a Phrygian mode. And although it has a very repetitive motion, I try to play with the different accents and different mixes. Hope you like it.
Hi, my name's Olivia. I've worked really closely with my pianist on this piece, so I'm really excited for you all to hear it. Um, so it's called Rocky Road, and it's sort of exploring how you can get an unsettled feel to a piece whilst remaining in the same time signature the whole way through. And in this case, it's in 3-4 the whole way through. So enjoy. Thank you. 
For the assignment Moto Perpetuo, I wanted to create the feeling of progression and changing the time signatures while still having a feeling of the pulse the whole time. That's established at the beginning. I wanted to use a feeling of water, so I used the whole tone scale with chromaticism as well, using Messian's third mode, using some of the groupings. I think the key aspects of the piece are the flowing triplets and semiquavers at the beginning and the voicing at the top line, which kind of helps establish the pulse was inspired by Liszt's and Suspiro.
This piece is called Turning Glass and it is made up of a single musical idea um, of different intervallic ratios. And these ideas um, are explored by changing our perspective to them. So a perspective that's very close and very tight to the ideas reflected in tiny intervals um, and a view that's further away reflected in really big intervals. And all these ideas are weaved together um, to create the sense that we're we're journeying closer and closer and closer to the musical idea before turning and seeing it from a whole new perspective on a whole new instrument.
From Behind the Clouds explores a musical idea which is viewed and obscured in different ways, in the same way that sun can be viewed and obscured behind clouds. It explores the whole of the violin's range um, through transforming the idea and presenting it um, in different textures and timbres, and it also thinks about the different voices that the violin can play, sometimes simultaneously, and the way they interact with each other. There's a lot of room for the performer to be expressive with its individual gestures, and I hope you enjoy the piece. Thank you. 